Leviticus Cornwall is a wealthy man who owns many of the businesses that the Vanderlyn gang had their sights set on, with his greatest power accumulated in Saint Denis. He is also a financial backer of the Pinkerton National Detective Agency. At some point, he gave Colonel Henry Favors of the U.S. Army a proposition to drive the Wapiti Indians off the reservation's lands, which are allegedly oil-rich. Leviticus Cornwall is first mentioned by the gang when they invaded the O'Driscoll camp near Coulter. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. Suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. Shit, no, what? God, oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find that? You said it was fine. It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Listen to me, we don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay, you asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four, three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake him up a little! What did you find? These... bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride! The train heist is successful, and the gang seizes a significant amount of money and bonds. Cornwall eventually tracks down the Vanderlyn gang in Valentine. In retaliation for the gang stealing from him, he has his hired guns hold Strauss and John as hostages. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderland! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? Vanderland! You don't know me! 
me, that you keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott Why not? you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whomever he may be. I am Archibald Smith, a lay preacher. For God's sakes, Arthur, will you get to it? John's whore. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp and we'll have his terrifying wound tended to. Ugh. Sure. Just don't bleed out on us. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Dutch later decides to confront Cornwall personally. Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us penned in here. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs you can't bribe, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out, and he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. 
And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... Folk feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir, not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your land! Noise, Arthur! Noise! Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew, sooner or later, Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch! It won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. This is everything we know about Leviticus Cornwall and Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you for watching.